am now in the city of Rutland, the third largest city in Vermont after Burlington and South Burlington. And uh, from what I've read on Urban Dictionary, it doesn't have the best reputation, but I'm hoping this uh, recommendation by my Airbnb host of Little Harry's will prove some of that wrong. Let's see how it is. It's packed in there, so it must be good. Really nice ambiance, and the eggplant parm is delicious. As you can see in front of me, we are passing through Rutland, Vermont, and they call this their main street, but I think the cool part of town is where I was last night. You probably just want to avoid this part if you really want to experience Rutland. It doesn't get too much better than that. I feel like I'm in the Lorax, quite honestly. All right, so we're about to uh, take a little bit of the Appalachian Trail. What I find mildly interesting is like you can see a line between orange and green that's pretty sharp. Here we go, Appalachian Trail, and uh, the fall should be in about two-fifths of a mile. It's like West Virginia without the baggage. Hey everybody, I'm just trying to get the, uh, the right settings for these falls. And it's not super bright, it's cloudy, so that means that I don't necessarily need to use an ND filter in this situation. Right now I have settings of 160th and F11 and ISO 100. We're going to bring it up, let's see how far we can go. Now that's kind of pushing it, so we're going to need to bring the uh, F-stop down. If you get up earlier, you're gonna wanna bring the F number to like 11, but like as the day goes on, that number is going to go up. And there's our final product. We used two seconds, F20 and ISO 100, and we didn't need a neutral density filter. All right, so I'm passing through Pittsfield, Vermont, and uh, one thing I noticed is that the volunteer fire department was uh, collecting money in a boot which is kind of a brilliant idea because do you have a captive audience there? And like, I asked him like, do you have a specific amount on anything? Anything's good. Pretty good way to uh, raise funds for a municipal institution. And Moss Glen Falls right there. And uh, we've got ourselves a maple syrup stand coming up. We've got here the Falls of Lana. All right, where's the burger too? Let's see if it's any good. Worthy burger too. After about 45 minutes of waiting, I finally have my burger and um, garlic parm fries here. Mmm. Fries are really good. Take a look at the burger. Apparently it's got some secret sauce. Ooh. This is the uh, eight ounce. Mm. I don't know if I've gotten that secret sauce yet. I think it's got like dill in there. Yeah, I think it's just dill. All right, so this is my hostel here. The inside of the hostel, we got a nice, uh, looks like a baby grand piano there. This is the dining room. And there's this big uh, heater looking thing. Uh, I believe that is the round hearth. And there's a pool table. And this is the area where they have coffee at uh, 7 a.m. in the morning and a continental breakfast. I might as well play this before I go to Moskline Falls, right? don't know what this restaurant is called, but I'm going here anyway. Well, unfortunately, I can't eat there. They have reservations for the rest of the evening, so I had to find somewhere else. Well, I called the, uh, I guess the bartender here, and he said there's room for one person at the bar. 
So maybe it's a busy place. It's also got Trattoria in the name, so that means it's probably good. So let's check it out. When you see the word Trattoria in the name of a restaurant, you go to that restaurant. <laughs> Amazing ravioli. The bread pudding was to die for. The Brunello is just classic. Very expensive restaurant, but the food is very good. Uh, it comes out lightning fast, even though there's only four people in the kitchen. You can tell people really like the place because they go to the owner and just have nothing to say but good things to him. If you are looking for something that is more affordable, if you stay at the Round Hearth Hostel, they have a complimentary coffee and breakfast. Coffee's at 7, uh, breakfast is at 7.30. There's also McCarthy's, which is a, a big name. I've been there uh, a few years ago. Also very good. There's your tip. Trattoria or die. No, that's not the tip. If you see Trattoria in the name, it's probably good because an ignorant American will not know the word Trattoria. If you can see behind me, this is the uh, Haskell Library. It's closed today. Uh, what's interesting about it is it's on the U.S.-Canadian border, so people can walk into the library and say they've been in both countries, but you had to exit out the way you came in. So it's a bit of a plot twist here. Um, <clears throat> I am actually on the Canadian side. Let me show you some proof. Canada. <laughs> Bilingual instructions. Let me show you the other way around. This is the border right here. See right there. Do not enter her. No bounty. You're not supposed to go over there. So there's Vermont. Vermont. Uh, here we go. Exactly what I was looking for. Longerie. This is a quiche. They told me they didn't take American Express here, but they do take American money and do not serve the exchange rate. So they say. $5.18 in Canadian money, you have to pay that in American money, so it ends up being a lot of a loss. Uh, why does this have to take so long? Uh, I just figured I'd stop along the highway and see this. New Hampshire, we're taking a quick detour there. Connecticut River here. Orford Social Library, I like the name. And uh, this what looks like a Sort of a colonial building there. All right, we're gonna head back into uh, Vermont now. That's again the Connecticut River there. Do we see a sign coming up here? I don't think they welcomed us. That's kind of rude. Well, before I go to uh, Glen Falls, I'm just gonna enjoy Lake Mori here. This is beautiful. I especially love the uh, reflection there. That is something. And as you can see, the parking lot is here. And I have to take the trail this way into the woods. So let's go. All right, so as you can see here, these are the smaller set of falls. The uh, main attraction is a few hundred feet upstream. The actual Glen Falls here in barely Vermont. Uh, what is your name? Charlotte. Oh. You are bilingual, no? Yeah. What are you holding there in French? Un papillon. Un papillon. Where are you visiting from? Um, Quebec. Quebec, uh, which uh, city? Saint-Sauveur. Saint-Sauveur. Is that a suburb? Uh, no, it's, it's more uh, in the country. Yeah. More country. in the country, near yeah. Montreal? Yes. Yeah. Like a mile from Montreal. Okay, so what brought you down here this weekend? People. People? Okay, which, which people? We <laughs> 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 rent a farmhouse <laughs> for the weekend. Both families. Just to, uh, to do the tourist. Okay, it's and nice it's a uh, special holiday. What's your special holiday this weekend? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? You know our Thanksgiving's in November? Yeah. We're still trying to debate as to who it was that Thanksgiving's 
in honor of in Canada. So just to uh, to be happy about the the harvest. The harvest. The harvest. Okay. Uh, Thanksgiving is an exploratory name. Don't think so. Yeah, I'll have to look it up, but uh, you guys are Canadian, so you would know better than I would. So. But don't, don't <laughs> that much. We, yeah. we just enjoyed the, the day off, I think. Oh, uh, okay. How do you say autumn in French? Autumn. Autumn. Okay, so it's very similar. Thanksgiving, action de grâce. Uh, was this uh, uh, un lac? Oui, un lac. Yeah, un lac. Anything else that you'd like to share to our millions of viewers? <laughs> no, this we just got like a few hundred. Few hundred. Yeah. Uh, have a nice weekend. Okay, we, we'll take it. All right, thank Enjoy you so much. Colors. Merci. Enjoy the colors. Merci yeah. beaucoup. There's absolutely no one here at <laughs> Falls. This is fantastic. This so quiet. Well, I'm here in beautiful Redding, Vermont, on this uh, horse and pony farm. And I uh, just arrived at my Airbnb. It looks like my hostess left the note. Uh, yellow first room, top of stairs. And you know, she took dogs for a walk. But let me show you the horses. They're awesome. Hey, boy. <laughs> There's the pony. Hey, baby, how you doing? Good to see you again. And there's my man. Sneaky, sneaky. Aren't they cute? Here's my boy. Bam, bam. These are for the horses. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Let me get the other part for you. Wow, you are not a picky eater. <laughs> Hey, pony. You want an apple? <laughs> oh, they uh, they are not picky eaters, let me tell you. Would you look at that sunset? Let's take a picture and it'll last longer. As recommended by my uh, Airbnb hostess, du jour VT of Ludlow. We'll see uh, what's in store for us. So mac and maple hard cider. Mac and cheese. So I found the yellow hand. There's the three fingers in the front. There's the, probably the thumb in the back. But yeah, just holding a donut. Apparently Springfield, Vermont won a video contest to premiere the movie. And they weren't even nominated for the contest. But proud of Springfield, Vermont appealed it. And now they have this big yellow hand here. So, there you go. Old Jelly Mill Falls. Uh, we're on the way to Manchester, Vermont, and it's gorgeous. Look at that. Uh, the, you're not a member of the Maple Mafia, right? Maple Mafia? <laughs> I'm a member of Vermont Maple Sugar Makers. Oh, that sounds legitimate. So. Of uh, New York maple producers, I'm a member of Bennington County and maple producers, and I'm a member of Rutland County maple producers. Okay, so this one is three dollars. Let me, I'm yeah. gonna get that one. I wonder if just leaving a, a cap hanging is a signal to other hikers that there's someone ahead for safety purposes. So. I am Roberto and I am from Colombia. This is my third time uh, traveling these very beautiful places. I love uh, walking in the mountains. In Colombia also we have a lot of mountains, but here are more safe and the people is very nice. I hope uh, you go also to Colombia because there is a very, very, very special place. We have the biggest mountain near the sea that is called La Sierra Nevada of Santa Marta. In that place there is a hike that you can do it in five days. It's almost in the jungle and it's called the Lost City. It's a very very beautiful uh, place to travel and to know. I am very happy to see you and 
I love you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Muchas gracias. <laughs>